Hi, so um, we're just going to be looking at chiseling. Um, and chiseling is a, is a method in which players can use uh, wood that they gather from woodcutting to uh, turn it into handles, bows, um, shield parts, and various accessories. It's one of the um, core methods of transforming the raw resource into something that you can use for your equipment. Um, a lot of the crafting processes in the Township Tale use this kind of book system, where we have this guide that has all these kinds of different blueprints as well as uh, pictographs on how to teach players how to perform actions. So here, for example, we can see that um, we add timber to what is our chiseling deck, which is uh, just behind us over there, and it produces this singular block. From this singular block, we can use a hammer and a chisel, as well as a page recipe, which we'll understand what, is, what it looks like later, to chisel off the blocks once they're on there. Blocks can be of different lengths, and that can provide you with different amounts of, uh, or different sized uh, items, and they require different amounts of wood, obviously. And so today we're going to be crafting uh, this rod here, which is uh, a nice size thing for actions like wood cutting or uh, creating a hammer for blacksmithing. So I can grab this page, and I can just tear it out, and that makes a copy, and then we're going to head over to the chisel deck, and we're going to be producing one of these. So these page recipes can just go right up in this slot here. And now we're seeing this trajectory that shows us how to chisel this. For chiseling, it's quite a basic, quite a basic action. Chisel, hammer, and then you start to hammer the piece out. Once you start to see it go in direction, you just keep going. And the order in which you chisel these bark pieces is what's going to define what comes out of here. So in theory, if you if you're good at memory, you can remember the order in which to do things, and you wouldn't need a guide. Uh, there are some craftsmen in the township who are capable of such feats. I am not one of them. Once you're chiseling, we have this lever here to rotate them, and that lets you access the different um, both sides of them. Um, the better tools you have, the easier it is to chisel, and different wood types uh, have different difficulties for chiseling, which means that you might require a much stronger chisel to break parts of it. So I'm quite good at this, so I'm going to blast through it, and then we're going to see the outcome come out uh, to be hidden inside of this, or the core of this wood. Oh, there it is. Part of the idea behind this, um, this crafting mechanic was that we wanted a lot of the crafting actions in the township tale to require a, a physical interaction that really uses the controllers um, to to go through the process as opposed to kind of clicking on a menu and waiting for this crafting timer to go down. We wanted players to perform the action. Um, and that lets us create all sorts of content around uh, getting better hammers, uh, getting better chisels, different types of wood, and really makes it feel worth it. Um, and satisfying once you get it out. So now that all the bark is cut off, all I need to do is just get at the center of this and unveil it. So the order no longer matters, and now it's just a process of kind of unpacking my presence, so to speak. Boom, there we go. Now we have this handle, and we can go ahead and make a tool. So what we're missing here is now some kind of head. I think we're gonna be going wood cutting, so we're gonna need an ax head and we're gonna head over to the blacksmith to do that. We're at the blacksmith now, and we're gonna be looking at some of the resources involved, as well as what the process looks like. Blacksmithing is uh, the core of the township tell. It's where all of the, the greatest tools get made. And they get made from resources that players can collect down in the mines. The mines are this completely pitch black cavern that you have to explore, mine ores, bring them back up here to smelt them. So. This is what ores look like. This is some copper ore um, that you can that you can mine, and that's probably one of the starting metals. Um, and th they all behave with this machine here, which is called the smelter. Uh, it's this big complex machine that turns these ores into ingots. So I've gone through the liberty of preparing some ingots for us already, uh, so that we can go straight to making this hammer. This here is a mold. This is found in loot, and it allows you to create what this says here, which is this big chunk of iron hammer. It costs us five ingots, 
and we're going to be placing that in the smelter to create that recipe. So I've got my ingots, I'm going to store them in my belt. We also need some fuel. Uh, so here I've, we've collected some coal, and we're going to be using that to fuel the smelter so that we can get this whole process going. Alright, let's make ourselves a hammer. I'm going to start off with the ingots. Now we only need five, so I'm just going to stick five in there. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Close up the hatch, and here we can see that the ingots are now in there. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and stick the mold in, right into this convenient looking frame here. I'm going to do a backhand, and there it's ready to go. Now you can see it hasn't started yet, and that's because there's no fuel in the, in the machine. So open up the grate, fire up the engines, and now we can see <laughs> starting to smoke up a bit. Um, to, to increase the process, we can make things a bit faster by pumping these bellows. And this will increase the temperature of the smelter, and you can see its eyes are gouging fire out. And I believe we're actually done already. So yep, here's our hammerhead. Uh, and that's what we're going to be using to forge. And forging is kind of the fun part of blacksmithing, it's where we turn uh, some metal into something nice and sharp. Okay, so now we're going to craft this hammer. This is the basic of crafting for Township Tell, it's these green lines, and that shows you where things can connect to. Uh, so I can just plunk down here, let go of the hammer head, and boom, we've got ourselves a hammer for forging. Now, for the, for the axe head that I said we were going to make, I've gone through and prepared an axe head for us, and you can see it's really blunt right now. It's not going to cut through anything, so we're going to have to forge it, get that get that metal expanded out, and then we'll be ready to turn a, to cut down some trees. Okay, so now we're out here in the forge, and we're going to be putting this uh, unheated axe head blade onto the fire, onto the coals. We'll be able to see it heat up, and then I'm going to be hammering it over the anvil. Different, uh, similar to wood crafting. Different, different metals require different levels of forging. Uh, so some tools are really difficult to forge um, if, they're, if you're using weak tools. So here we can see it's starting to glow a fair bit. And now I can go ahead and forge it. And now I can see that it's done. So now you can compare it. It's got a much finer edge. And that means that it's ready to craft. It's still a bit hot. But it's okay. Okay, now we're going to attach it to a handle. Something about crafting, you can see these lines. This is literally how they will connect. Um, so, actually this this will work. Yep. Um, so you can look at the orientation of the, the different parts as they're about to attach to, understand which orientation things are going out of. On a different handle, this might have been an axe that points upwards. Um, why you would want that, I'm not sure, but some people do. And that's kind of part of the modular configuration that we allow with weapons. There's a, there's a bunch of attachments you can add before uh, the axe head that can allow you to orient it in different directions that we'll be looking at later as well. All right, so we're here to do some wood cutting. Uh, this is where you would get the wood for the uh, chiseling that we were doing earlier, if you hadn't scavenged it from various sources around town for your first handle. and. Uh, this is about as basic as it gets. You use your axe and you swing down and you start cutting trees. And as you can see, you can see there's a score there. Uh, and this is where you want to keep hitting to fell the tree and have it collapse. And then you continue through the process until eventually you come across these blocks and, they, and you can chop them to turn into wedges. And now for the satisfying moment, I'm going to cut out this large trunk of the tree. And I'm going to kind of go around to make it drop. And there it goes. And then I can continue to work through the different wedges. And collect more wood. So, once you've got all this wood on the floor, you can't just pick them up one by one and try to store them in your belt. Or what you can do is... Oops. You can create a pouch of them, and I can actually just kind of scoop them into my into my pouch, as if it's like <laughs> scooping up water or something, <laughs> and that lets me collect things a lot faster. 
There are also abilities in the game that can be used to, um, to gather things faster. There's a particular set of skills called gatherer skills, where I can shake a pouch and throw it, and then it'll act like a Pokeball that'll just suck up all of the wood around it. Um, so we provide a lot of different ways to solve the problem of bending down to pick things up by having these progression lines uh, throughout the game. Okay, so now we're going to look at some different metal types. Different metal types are made from either getting different ores in the caves, as well as mixing different ores or ingots together to create alloys. This is an alloy, this is the uh, highest tier metal we have, and this is regular iron. It's been a bit heated up, uh, but you can see one of the differences here that makes this a much tougher metal on the purple one is that it's going to take a lot longer for it to glow. Uh, in the game there are profession abilities that allow players to have these unique abilities that are related to their crafting profession. With blacksmithing, for example, uh, unless you want to wait a long time for this blade to heat up, you can acquire a skill that lets you um, that lets you swing the sword down where you'll use the inner energy of your soul to light up the sword and then you'll be able to forge it. Um, but we don't have that because we're novices, so we're stuck with the iron for now. And different weapons obviously require um, you to forge along the weapon. You can't just hit a single spot and expect it to finish. You can see that the end here is much wider than the start. And so now I need to force this end here. And if the blade cools down, then you have to stick it back on the forge, but we were able to get this one done in time. And now you can see it's got a nice sharp edge going along it. <laughs> I've also brought over some axes um, to show you one of the crafting configurations that we can have. So that's one down. Maybe I can get this one done before it cools down. So now we have two different colored axe heads, and I'm going to, like I was talking about with the other axe, with the orientation thing, would it be adding an item that lets this one kind of create a, bat, a big battle axe? So, this is the tool part. These look a bit abstract. You can recognize them based on how abstract they look. Uh, and you can see that they'll attach this way, which will allow me to place something here and something on this side as well. So there you go. And now I can grab the axe, and here we can see the different possibilities of it. So we can go on either side. Boom, there you go, you've got a battle axe. And I could have chosen to make this out of any different metal I want. Similar with the, uh, with the centerpiece. The, the, the metals and materials you choose also affect the durability of weapons. Because weapons can break and get damaged. And you will visibly see that on the weapons as it occurs.